Today we're going to have a look at the EcoFlow dual fuel generator which runs on LPG and petrol. In the box you'll get your extra battery cable, your toolkit which comprises of two open-ended spanners, a spark plug spanner, screwdriver. You also get a funnel, a tubing, uh, this is so you can fill up with oil. You also get your LPG gas hose with regulator. This is a 29 uh, millibar regulator. You also get your quick fit connector on the end. Round and then uh, we go through all the details. Okay, on this side of the uh, smart generator, you have your on-off switch. You have your pull cord. You have your gas inlet. Go around to the back. You have your exhaust. Uh, you also have your, uh, I don't know if you can see that, spark arrestor in there. Go around to the other side. This is where all your engine and uh, compartment is, where you can get into the, and service the engine. On the front, you've got your LCD screen. You've got carbon monoxide llama detection. Uh, so if it detects, detects high carbon monoxide, it will switch off. Oil alert, again, it will switch off if the oil gets low. You've got your electric start. You've got your AC on off. You've got your IOT reset for your Wi-Fi. Down below that, you have 240 socket. Next to that, got a ground terminal, if you need to use it. You've got your extra battery port. If we turn it round, if we go onto the top, we've got your fuel cap. Um, we also have on off on the top. Inside the fuel tank, you'll have a filter. So any debris um, that may be in your tank or in the petrol will get caught in this and you just rinse this out. Onto the back. You have all your safety decals on, on the back. And along here, giving you all the warnings. And um, earlier on in the video, this has a spark arrestor, which is in there, located in there. So if you ever have trouble starting this machine, um, check this, because this builds up with carbon and then um, you can't, the gases won't escape, so you'll get back pressure. Um, to fix that, just undo them bolts there and there, take that out and give that a clean, get all the carbon off it, and then put it back. Um, and that should be fine, just to make you aware of that. I just mentioned about the spark arrestor. On the spark plugs as well, when you do your servicing, you see that gap there on your electrode, just there. 
make sure when you're servicing it, there's no carbon build up in that because if that shorts that out, that won't spark, so that won't start. So that's always uh, good to look at when you're servicing. Um, just get a wire brush and just give that brush when you're servicing it, get the carbon off it. This to on you got your similar reading to what you have on your delta range on the other side of the machine uh, if you undo these locking screws this one and this one here uh, we'll undo the cover take the cover off Now we're inside the cover, in the side of the engine. Here you have your lithium battery. Um, this is connected just here. When you get it, it come like this. So when you buy it, it come like that. So Basically, all you do is take these caps off, click those together, and that's your battery done. Above there you have your solenoids. That's for your um, LPG. Here you have a breather pipe, which is from the top of the head, which goes back into the carburetor. Down here you have the fuel shut off, you have your overflow pipes and your breather pipe which run down there and here you have your air filter. Now when you're doing your servicing if you take this off um, clean that out in soapy water or petrol, which you prefer. Sprinkle on here a little bit of oil. That helps the dust and contaminants to stick to that. Um, saves it going into the engine. So when you're servicing, you do just do that. On the other side, You have your dipstick, which is this here, your dipstick. This is where you take your oil uh, readings. You also fill it up from there with the funnel and hose. So when you get it, you'll be filling it, putting that in there, that in there and filling with oil through your funnel. These engines take 1040 synthetic oil, uh, which is better than mineral. So 1040 synthetic oil is what they recommend you use on this. Specs on this, um, it weighs 30.5 kilograms. It's um, rated power on LPG is 1600 watts, peak value of 1700 watts. On petrol, it's 1800 watts, peak value 1900 watts. DC output voltage is 42 to 58.8 volts. DC current is 32 amps. We've got a little Delta II here, um, which we're going to show you how to put the lead in. You can use this on most of the new Delta range. Delta II, Delta Max, Delta II Max, Delta Pro. So what you do is you get your lead, open that up, and we just plug that into that.
turn that round, undo your port on the side, get the other lead, plug that in. So that is all connected. So that will charge that up on DC. Um, obviously I can't do it in here, but that's how you connect it. So you put your, your extra battery lead in there into that port and then you put your other end into the extra battery on the Delta 2 or whatever Delta you're using and that will charge it. With the gas hose it's got a quick release on it so all you do is take this cover off and then you've got your quick release nipple there so all you do is put that on there and that's done and to release it this little lip here just hold that pull it back and off so just push it on that's locked on you screw the other end into your gas bottle and that's all you have to do you also have four ways of starting this machine you can start it by pull cord you can start it with the electric start you can start it with the uh, with the app and you can also start it with the auto start feature which is in the app if we go into the app you're greeted with this so you got your how much fuels in it runtime output total runtime you got your ac you can switch it on as well through the app you've got your extra battery port when you plug something in it'll tell you the wattage what's coming out of it uh, you got your performance and eco mode just slide that across same with the start if you slide that across that'll start the engine and if you go up to the three dots up the top press that as i was saying um, earlier about the maintenance mode if you go into there and say mm, doing an oil change it will tell you all the details it even show you where it is on the uh, generator and then you just update your records and that keeps a record of your oil change same with air filter tells you where it is and then you upgrade update the maintenance record there uh, spark arrestor what i was speaking to you about earlier again on the back and then you up when you've done it update your maintenance records action um, this would be done by a dealer or professional um, generator specialist uh, your propane hose again uh, tell them where it is and when to change it and then you would update the records again same with idle speed valve clearance fuel tank and fuel filters fuel line cylinder head my thoughts on the ecoflow smart generator dual fuel i think it's absolutely perfect for the uk as our weather is very unpredictable um, when we get sun it's nice uh, but we get a lot of cloud and a lot of rain um, so in the winter time this is ideal for topping up your deltas i hope this video was uh, helpful to some of you um, if maybe you was uh, looking at to buy one of these and i hope it's helped you to make your decision about them as you can see it's uh, 
really nice well-built model. <laughs>